<laughs> All right. It's Franken time, baby. What color do you think these will make? Check it up. It's mixing. It's mixing. All right. Today we're doing combos of Sophia's new collection. Also, in case you missed it, we will be restocking the individual Sophia shades that have sold out. That's just the bottle and the carton, no collection marks. Yeah, and the nail file, yes. Follow Holo Taco for the official information on that. Put your email here, hit notify me, and the second it comes back into inventory and populates in stock, you'll get an automatic email. Let's get into it. Sophia combos, where should we begin? Water marble? No, you're going to jail. We're banning the word water marble. Also, I've had this manicure on since before launch weekend. So don't judge me. Why am I being so weird? The fact that this has been my nails like this for an entire week and they still look decent should be a selling point, Christine. <laughs> I'm like, don't look at my nail. Oh, they look so pretty in the light. Diana. If you're an avid Holo Taco collector, one of the main things we specialize in that people love is our ridiculous number of toppers. This is Feeling Fiendish, her creme, which is such good coverage. I'm seeing really good feedback already. It performs like it's a dark creme in terms of opacity. Love it matte. Matte is just so, it like makes it even more muted. It's beautiful. Everything taco looks good on everything. It's a rule. Unicorn skins are iridescent flakies that shift in the light and will look different depending on what color you put them over. That's lunar unicorn skin, which looks good on everything. It's literally impossible for it to look bad. Solar unicorn skin, cosmic unicorn skin, Aurora unicorn skin, sonic unicorn skin, galactic unicorn skin. I think Cosmic really complements the Feeling Fiendish purpley color, so that's nice. Okay, shimmers are like unicorn skins in terms of their pigments. So they're both iridescent and they kind of shift depending on the angle of the light. The shimmers are more uniform and linear and they glow like a little more sophisticated, if you will. Halogen Glow, Scorched Earth, Polar Princess, if you're looking for a complementary color, Twilight Shimmer, Freezer burn, <laughs> celestial light. And then we're getting into hollow. Linear hollow doggo, literally the brand name. And that's what you can use to make any nail polish holographic. Scattered hollow taco, a bit more of a galaxy effect. And then flaky hollow taco for like a bit larger, chonkier, more dazzling. Then we have silver flake taco, that's gold flake taco. And I didn't have room to try red flake taco or fallen flake taco, the new fall one. Let's do a poll, I kinda wanna know. How many hollow taco toppers do you have? Guys, how many toppers do I have? Uh, I think it's 21. I'm putting a question mark. Over 50%, but not all. Fuck, I need five pull options, Susan! I really wanted like the nuance between none and just a couple, but I'm not gonna get it. How many hollow taco toppers do you have? 33% under 50%. 21% of you have all 21. Damn, we're all, everyone else is jealous. Okay, you guys are bragging, you're flexing. 28% have over 50, but not all. 19% have none. Bat Bitch is Sophia's new Midnight Black Shimmer. It's a black pearlescent polish with a blue eerie shimmer bite. All right. <laughs> ah! I'm so bad. I feel like I, that was like not a good impression. I'm sorry, Sophia. This is Bat Bitch on its own. So this is our control, okay? The one with the black dot is one coat of Bat Bitch over one coat black, which I thought was interesting because it is reading a little bit, just a little bit different. There she is. Hello, friend. Um, we're doing things to your collection. Don't mind us. Just talking about how sophisticated bad bitches. Look at it, Matt. Like how weird is this in a good way? Saf, how does it feel seeing chat put your face in, <laughs> in the chat? You're just gonna be a permanent fixture. I still don't know how I feel about this emoji. <laughs> Okay, chat, you're gonna scare her away. I don't think you need to do too much to it, but if you are chaotic and you're like, yeah, I know it's sophisticated, but I would like to be annoying and obnoxious and I want more, then you can do this. <laughs> Silver Flake Taco is just killing it for me so far. I think it's cause it really works with the cool tone palette. That's Gold Flake Taco, just out of curiosity. That's everything taco. That is literally bat bitch chaos in the night. You know, you can't decide what to do, just go wild. Solar Unicorn Skin is like a black opal. It's fucking beautiful. Eye of Sauron vibes. How do you pronounce that? Sauron, Sauron, Sauron. I'm gonna look it up. Oh, okay. Okay, girl, yeah. Sauron, Sour, Sauron. 
Okay, you guys aren't even agreeing with each other. Lord of the Rings. Oh, yeah, I didn't pay attention to Lord of the Rings. I saw that movie. It was too long. Okay, what about the blue one? Does this look like elves or something from the Lord of the Rings? This is Sonic Unicorn Skin, and I wanted to try, like, the polar opposites here. My favorite over Bat Bitch is Reflective Taco, okay? If you're really annoying like me, and you want to annoy people's eyeballs in the middle of the night when you roll up to the stop sign, then put reflective taco over bat bitch and it looks exactly like a midnight sky. Ah! Look, look at it, look harder. It's the midnight sky. NASA doesn't even know how to define this. How about this? Should we call the Halloween police on you for this? Guess what this is, go guess. It's Xyler. That's right. This is one coat of Xyler the cat, which is not a topper, but it looks like Halloween. <laughs> Right? Smashed pumpkins. So make sure you buy Xyler the cat because Benji always sells better. That's all the wheels I have prepared, but now let's do some live painting. And I think I'm gonna start with spirit fingers over black was commonly requested. And let me just preface this by saying that spirit fingers is not a topper, okay? We're going against the rules here, but we're just curious. This was spirit fingers. She flew off the fucking shelves cool gray jelly base and it has this magenta reddish shimmer is it pink or magenta or red i don't know we could keep fighting about it but it's a micro shimmer so it is smaller than like this is scorched earth just for reference so i'm gonna put it over black first which will be darker ready oh much darker yeah i mean obviously we knew that because Spirit Fingers is a jelly-ish polish, it's a bit translucent in the first coat. That's kind of cool, it darkens it. It's more like galaxy vibes. Ordered Xyler again. <laughs> fall bundle and the Sap collection box. Love them all for fall. Will you release reflective toppers in different colors? Maybe, maybe I have a thought in my head. Detectives. I'm gonna put it over Bring Me the Teal. Okay. What? But that's so interesting. You can change the undertone of it. I'd probably still do two coats, honestly, of Spirit Fingers just to level it out a little bit more. I've got Spirit Fingers, Polar Princess, which is pink shimmer, and then Scorched Earth, which is more orangish yellow. These are shimmer toppers and they are larger pigments than the micro shimmer in Spirit Fingers. So it's not a one-to-one -one pigment conversation here either. There's one thing that I've definitely raved about is how you can apply a shimmer topper and make any boring creme look cool. Let's do that. So this is Cold Slate, duct tape gray. We'll start with Polar Princess and Scorched Earth. I'm gonna repeat the same thing. Now we'll do Spirit Fingers. And actually you can see here the difference with just in the one coat, micro shimmer and shimmer shimmer. The size of the pigment will change whether it looks like sparkly and like bokeh-y, you know, like blingy, or it'll look glowing. Now we add a glossy taco. You always wanna be adding a quick dry top coat on anything you do, not only because it'll help make your nail polish last longer, but also when you're wearing holographic or shimmer or special effects polish, you wanna make sure that you're showcasing them in the best way. And a quick dry glossy top coat will bring out the shimmer. There we go. Yes. Here is our control. There's Sophia's spirit fingers. As you can see, I don't think we can dupe it with the cremes and shimmer toppers that we have. Cold Slate is way bluer and duct tape gray is way lighter. Like, is I interesting. Do you see what I mean by like the depth of the shimmer and the way in which it kind of glows from the lowest coat? It's glowing. They just glow differently. Can we expect to see a birthday polish this year? Yes. What should I do? It's already decided, so you can't change it. It's probably already made. Mm. Spoiler, I will have a birthday this year. This year it is it's long overdue. Are we excited for a birthday? What now? Do we do more of this or do we mix them all together and see what color it makes? 64% said it's Franken time. Our queen, Sophia, is known for literally mixing everything together ever in the history of any product ever existing. What hasn't she mixed? Soap from Whole Foods, lip gloss from Sephora, soap from Lush, hand sanitizer from unnamed location, bath bomb, wedding cake, lipstick handle, eyeshadow, powder, lipstick, 
and she refers to that as frankening. When you mix it all together in the lipstick industry, you end up with that kind of muted, rich berry tone, which was the inspiration for Bury Me and Hollow. There's 30 fucking million views on this video. Holy shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Go to her shorts. She already did. I mixed all my Hollow taco polishes together. So I'm gonna mix it now and see how my Frank and polish of her collection compares to her mix. It's Franken time, baby. It's time to get Franken. I'm gonna lay them out and we're gonna do a prediction. Don't cheat. Don't pre-watch her video, unsee it. Unsee her short right now. And I want you to guess in the chat, what color do you think these will make? What do you think? Dark purple, brown, orange? Of course, of course you would say that. Only you would say that. White? Are you on LSD goggles? All right. Funnel? Nah, I skipped the funnel. I don't need a funnel. I'm taking the dangerous route, okay? We're doing danger here. I'm gonna try and make them all even-ish, roughly. I'm not measuring, okay, fuck that. You know, we're just gonna pour. Just like how I do baking, you know? So I'm just gonna pour a little bit of Brucey first. Now let's pour in some Bury Me and Hollow, which is already a Franken. So we're adding Franken to the Franken. Spirit fingers. I don't need a funnel. I'm a bartender. Pour you a nice steady drink of nail polish. <laughs> Bat bitch, a black pearlescent shade. So that's definitely gonna make this darker. Probably don't wanna overdo it on that one just so it doesn't end up that black because you do have to consider like disproportionate takeovers. And now let's add some feeling fiendish. However, this is a creme. Warning! Be careful because cremes will kill the hollow and the shimmer because they are so creamy and rich and opaque, they'll coat all the shimmers. So just use like a tiny bit to get that color, but not too much. One of those, that's it, that's it. That I said that's it, there we go. Look, it's sand art. Oh, that's pretty. Let's not mix it, <laughs> it looks good. It's so pretty. <gasps> Look at that bitch blending into spirit fingers, what the fuck? Gradient, gradient idea, alert, alert. It's the Sophia Sand Art Collection. Not available ever. Ready? Shake it up. Shake it up. Franken, let's go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> it's mixing. It's mixing. It's mixing. There she is. Franken Saf. With Brucey kind of hanging in there at the bottom. On that side, you can see it blended. Ooh. <gasps> okay. Do you remember earlier when I was explaining that if you added something like hollow to spirit fingers, it would break up the pink glow? This is exactly what I meant. I can still see that there's a little bit of the magenta shimmer, but it's now more dispersed. And I can see a little bit of the berry crushed hollow floating in there. Ready to paint? Ooh. I'd start naming this in the chat. Afia would be so proud. Okay, that's pretty. All Belgine Dream, a lighter version of Rainbow Flood with some extra shimmers. Berry Batty. Oh, that's cute. Who said let's go? Move on over. <laughs> Sophisticated. That's cute. I like Saftoberfest. I made that up and I commented that on her short yesterday. Saftoberfest. <laughs> Best fiends. <laughs> Shut up. It reminds me of Nightshade. Kind of, right? So Nightshade from the Down to Earth Fall Crimes collection. I mean, obviously this has a lot of like other pigments in it, but similar eggplant kind of muted vibes. Okay, let's put bats on one of them. Just a couple, just, just a couple. Oh, oh, that was more than a couple. Also, the feedback we've been seeing on the bats is people are like, there's a shitload of bats in the bag. A ridiculous amount of bats. Like two grams of bats doesn't sound like that much. It's a lot. <laughs> what I do is I'm gonna top coat one of them, place the bats. I gotta work quickly, ready? Stick the bats right into a wet top coat, I recommend. If you stick them into the wet color coat, you're more likely to get the color of the shade come around and like, suck it up like a quicksand and then do a final top coat on top of them once this glossy taco is dry. This was the limited edition remix collection from Holo Taco's second anniversary where the concept was what happens when you mix all of our formulas together. The seven OG rainbow collection to get this, which is Rainbow Flood. In tone, they're actually not as similar as I thought they would be. Rainbow Flood is more bluish undertone and these ones are more muted which I'm not surprised at because this ultimately came from this, which are all very bright pigmented. Sophia's collection is overall more muted. Okay, now let's paint it matte. 
Okay, now that it's Matt, what do we think? What do we think? I'll bring it in closer. Okay, weird. Matt kills the hollow and some of the shimmer. You can still see it, but now it just kind of looks like dead and gray inside, you know? which maybe some of us are. Kinda looks like an amethyst stone that hasn't been polished. Purple concrete, purple airheads. It looks like my shirt. Wait a second. The matte one kinda looks like us. Maybe I'm a little bit lighter. Can we have a hint about your birthday polish before you end stream? My budget is inquiring. I mean, uh, when is my birthday? Chat, tell me when my birthday is. Birthday's on October 27th. <laughs> Chat doesn't even know me. You don't even know who my birthday is. Uh, doesn't it remind you on Facebook? Uh, oh, are we upset? You upset her. My birthday is October 17th. Not that it's gonna be released on my birthday, but like somewhere in proximity on a Saturday to my birthday. And maybe there won't be just nail polish. Let's compare. Saftober to Sophia's Franken. Some of you guys may know, we recently did a collab with our friend Christine and her nail polish brand, Hollow Taco. And because of my propensity to mix different things together, a lot of you guys wanted to see a Franken polish. Then it was time to pour our polish into some empty Hollow Taco bottles. She used the funnel, she used the funnel. She wasted the nail polish. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's quite a muted purple, but it's very sparkly and I can definitely see Okay, hers is a little bit darker, eh? It's still got that like muted eggplanty. It's still purple, but it looks to me like she had a little bit more Brucey and Bat Bitch. I see more of the Bury Me and Hollow Crushed Little Hollow bits. See those like little reddish bits popping through? I think that's contributing to the vibrancy of the purple. And hers is more overall muted. I see less Bury Me and Hollow. I see more Bat Bitch. Maybe she prefers it. I feel like she'd prefer it that way. It's a little more like gothic. Mine's a little more chaotic. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Would you wear? Do we think Sophia likes it? I would wear this. It's a sparkly, dispersed nightshade in a way. It's Oktoberfest. Last thing we're gonna do today. It's Peely time. Oh. This is the forbidden fruit roll up. I'm definitely gonna mail this to Sophia. I think she should have it forever. All right, on that note, everyone, make sure to smash that like button and make sure to smash that subscribe button. I will see you all the next time.